cheers and happy full moon everyone whether you're watching this at the actual full moon in november of 2024 which i believe is also a super moon meaning it's extra big uh whether you're listening to that um currently or in the future it doesn't matter it's timeless it's all happening now I, uh, again, am a work in progress, and yes, I am working on my guidebook uh, for narc abuse escapees, and I'm no longer covering the very, very painful process of recognizing that you are in a really terrible, toxic relationship that's hurting you, and uh, then grappling with what to do, and then dealing with how did that happen? So I have playlists. Go ahead and look at my channel. Click on my name below this video to the left, and then it'll bring up playlists. Click on playlists and click on the narc male. It could also apply to women, but I don't know what, I, I have not been a specialist being a female at, at their particular form of narcissism, which I'm not all together that good at recognizing because my own mother is a pathological narcissist and I was dealing with my partners well before I recognized her as one in August of 2022 and that then became in a dark night of the soul yes uh, death of of ego structure yes I was crushed you have no idea what it's like to realize that your own mother sabotaged your successes your entire childhood and that your adult life proved otherwise because you were in charge but when you really see it because you didn't see it before but then when you really see it it hurts deep it hurts it, it, and then you look back because i have a memory and um, one of my sisters does not. She remembers nothing. So grab a cup of kappa. I have water right now. I think I'm going to have some wine, though. All kinds of great things are happening, people. Um, I'm uh, suspended animation when it comes to my dating because it's the holidays. And... I'm now going to find a way to present questions to men, a questionnaire for them to fill out. Like, what are you looking for? But also, I'm not going to entertain you at all as a, as a potential mate unless I fit what you're looking for. What are you looking for? And, and if this man is, well, we have to get together to see if there's chemistry, I go, well... The chemistry is the easy part, dude. It's, do you have intellect? Do you have communication skills? Can you share? Because the beginning of a relationship is actually the most important part. And I've been meeting these guys too soon. None of them were worth it. But meaning if I wanted to be with them, I met them too soon. Also, guys are stupid. All I need to do is put, is put on makeup, fill my breasts, uh, my bra with sil silicone pads to make them look bigger. You know, you gotta be proud. These aren't sinking down to my belly, guys. But they're dumb. I have to put on, like, what? Bust enhancers? And now they have underwear enhancers? I mean, do I really have to do that? I'm not going to because I don't want a stupid guy. I don't want a dumb man. I don't want a man driven by his fucking dick. I want a man driven by his heart and his intellect. That's what I want. Hmm. Let's see. I don't have any wine glasses. <gasps> oh, I do. Right here, brought it down already. So, I actually went to Tarjay today. I uh, 
finally realized that I I lacked certain pieces of accessory, accessory furniture, if you will, baskets and other supporting things that allow you to organize in a way that's classy. Rather than having piles of stuff, you put it in a basket. Oh, I am wearing the cutest little fall outfit. Let me show you. See, yes, they're all shades of, of autumn. None of them match perfectly, but it's delightful. I went for a walk in the woods earlier and I smelt the beautiful leaves. Ah, it was wonderful. So let's talk. Let's talk about how 2024 is a, a year that's coming to a close. 2025 is going to be, from my understanding, a little bit more of the same and that 2026, I think will be out of the, out of the sticks. So do I want to find a man in 2025? I don't necessarily want to, I'm not ready. I mean, I was like, no. I'm not ready. My life is just getting organized. Why would I throw a man into the mix? Why? Well, I'm not going to. But I'm still entertained by the idea and I still want to communicate because when you are in the flow of what you're doing, it's I create parameters and, 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 and lines. I will not physically meet up with a man between now and 2025. It's the holidays. And I'm busy. And that will help um, me weed out the guys and then me. I mean, what drives a man at our age? He wants to have sex. Uh, what drives a man when he's younger? He wants to have sex. But the difference is he wants to procreate and per chance um, connect to a woman and have a long lasting relationship. But there's so many messed up people uh, that they don't stay together. And there's just uh, an interesting mindset that suggests uh, that the person who chose to leave an abusive relationship um, deserved it. I mean, I've, I've received negative comments. It's like, be gone, oh toxic uh, troll. There are um, demonic troll. Be gone, oh toxic demonic troll. I love that. I played that several times over and over again. Put it into my dating videos because um, there aren't that many of them, but they're so dumb. They project onto you and they say things that are, I am so beyond being insulted now because I no longer need to improve for you. I no longer, the audience or a guy, I no longer need to change myself for you. I no longer care about what you think. You know, a, a troll or a guy. Uh, my value is determined by me, not you. And I am God's spark. I am connected to the great divine. I've had Shaktipa. I've had Kundalini um, buzzes for weeks on end and two years of being so high I couldn't even relate to humans. And I'm very human, I don't pretend not to be. Um, and the earth, it's a beautiful place to live, but right now it's being populated by underhanded a-holes who are a lot like narcissists. And I recognize it. So once you see the pattern, you see the pattern forever and you see it everywhere and you know what to avoid and you know what it is. And then you don't care 
You just know what it is. That's all. Don't drive terribly fast when it rains torrentially and there are there's pooled water on the road. It's not negative to know, note that there is negative there are hazards. That's not negative. It's not negative for me to note there are people, oh you always be positive, focus on the positive. Pay no attention. No. Know the hazards in life. And that way you're ready for them. Got it? Good. Get away from those ways of thinking that, that, that tell you that you're wrong for being aware of the negative. Be aware of the negative. It's the la, 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 la people who don't want to see it. that fall prey to it. So after having been with predators for so long, the narcissists you know, who are not that smart because they really are basic in their needs. But having been uh, in the direct sight of a predator, a sexual predator, an emotional predator, a financial predator, I became astute on how to become a predator and act less like prey. Prey don't run away. Prey stand up, call up stuff, and defend themselves and are ready to make offense and are not apologetic for it one iota. So, happy new moon, excuse me, happy full moon, everyone. Ow, 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 ow. I didn't want to yell too loud because I do have neighbors. I was ready to go. Um, my goodness. My, my, my goodness. I'm really happy to report that I'm in a place of um, personal victory. And my kitchen is slowly getting in order too. I will be showing you uh, my new blender and my new setup and how I make everything work in my kitchen. Because this is my shoebox kitchen after all. And uh, I had a negative comment that I've turned into a positive one. It's called alchemy. And he, the male uh, name and probably person and said that I, what do I know? I live in a shoebox kitchen, you know, who am I? It's like, yeah, exactly. Who am I? I live in a shoebox kitchen. Yeah, I do. I love my shoebox kitchen. And I'll give you a tour. Um, I'm thinking about going on the Patreon so that I can have subscribers that support me off of this platform, which um, does have censorship um, capabilities and that's their prerogative because this is a platform that I'm using for free. And if they, the platform persons that created this um, forum, want to remove a video because I'm not according to guidelines, all the more power to them. But at the same time, it would be such a shame to not be able to say certain things but also such a shame to not be able to have higher value available to you that I don't want to give away for free because I am not a monetized channel. I'm eeny, 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 bitsy. And I do it because I am on my own journey. And it is done to give other people permission 
not that I'm granting it, but it's a hey. We all can be perfectly honest with each other and ourselves and really talk real. Like talking real. What does that sound like? What does that look like? It's, it's things like this. Men are duped in, to be with women who are really good with makeup and stuffing their bra with silicone push-ups and wearing undies that have shape-shifting lifters on them. Meanwhile, the auric field's getting a little squished out of shape because of all those materials. I mean, it makes the male focus on the physical. And again, I am not going to dress like that because I don't want a man like that because that's what I've had. I need a higher love, like Stevie Winwood says. Think about it. There must be higher love. Da, 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 da. Written in the stars above. You know, there's a higher love. And I am evolving. You know, people go, oh, well, you're the one that has relationships. You must be messed up. I'm the first to admit it. <laughs> Listen more carefully to my videos. Yes. Because I was negated and my thoughts, feelings, opinions were regulated to like not even important and I lost the ability to actually have a voice, have my own preferences heard and have the ability to actually be my fullness of myself without being criticized for it including when I was at my height of beauty uh, in, 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 in my youth. I'm talking about when I was a child. To have that negated. Yeah, I had some pretty messed up relationships with men based on that conditional love in which there's something called the trauma bond. And I talk about the trauma bond. And if I find the video that I have talked about it, in, I will link it in the description, but you guys don't pay attention to that. Like who actually reads the description box? I do, but how many people push more but know the video and like actually read it? Not many. Everyone's on their own agenda. <laughs> and I'm just in my shoebox kitchen pontificating, writing a recovery guide for narc abuse escapees. Recognizing and realizing that the um, situation I find myself in is delightful because I have no abuse in it. And so when a toxic demeanor, toxic de de demonic troll is like, you're in the state you're in, you deserve it. You, you have more uh, confidence than your value. In other words, like really ridiculous comments. I, uh, this happened. And I clicked on this person's comment. They've only been in business on YouTube since April of 2024. And the only, only comment they have is on my video. And it's to insult me. I feel pretty special and important for that. <laughs> and it's like, you do think about it and you go, huh, all right. I am sparring because my goal is to actually become a person who does tour with a book in, in tow to help people get to the recognition and realization that they can enrich their lives by recognizing where they've been shorted. That's all. That's all. Be all you can be, man but not in the United States, um, A-R-M-Y, no. Be all you can be according to your own blueprint. There is no judgment about who is better. It's, are, are we working together? Are we working together? Because we operate within the context of this physical form and its limitations 
as well as our own soul growth. And everybody's here for a different reason. And the measurement on, the, if I just said the United States, the person who makes the most money is not the winner. <laughs> uh-uh. I loved my second husband. He loved money more than he loved me. And he loved insulting me and degrading me and giving me the cold shoulder and only dressing up when he hung out with his friends and going to New York and hanging out with his buddies and then coming home and never taking me out after like always whining and dining with his friends. To have a man actually become angry at you regularly for a real, no, for imagined wrongs. To constantly have to justify your decisions, to constantly have to run them through him as the judge. No. I became physically constipated. I couldn't take SHITs until Monday, all weekend long, having him like. Da -da 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 -da. It is. It was like the worst experience being married to him. All he had to do was relax and stop criticizing me. That's all. And stop stonewalling. And stop saying that I was part of the team when he dictated what it was that we were going to do and, then I, and he never listened to a thing I had to say. Except for the one thing that ended up being the blessing. And it was when we bought our house in Raleigh. And it was a gift of the, of the, of the marriage. And I gave that away. And I did it gladly. Because I was in a heightened state of experience. And now my human personality is like, what the? Did you do that for? <laughs> It's like, because this lifetime for me is not about amassing financial wealth. That's all. It doesn't make me a less than person. I am rich in spirit. And I would never, ever, ever say that I am poor financially. Every need I've ever had has been abundantly satisfied. I have the responsibility of taking care of myself. I will not be cavalier when it comes to my health, especially my physical health. It's very important to take care of your vehicle. In the future videos, I'll have links to items that I have benefited from that I hope you purchase from me so that I can make an income. Yes, yes, yes. But I would never promote something that I thought was S-H-I-T-T-Y and I would never promote something that didn't work. Yeah. You know, I talked about the myth of modern art a while back. So I'm going to remind you. The myth of modern art, one of the best ways for rich people to actually, like, get wonderful tax write-offs. And all I ask is that if there's ever a need for this woman to uh, receive um, dental care, I would like a donation. But in the meantime, I will show you my dental routine 
And that's the thing I'm discovering. Okay, you might have noticed I have a, I had an impact to my face. That right there. But it's also like a tattoo, which is truth teller. So I'm keeping it because life gave it to me. I'm not going to get rid of it. And in my life, when I was young, they pulled a lot of teeth. So I have less teeth. I have a wide mouth, but a short smile. See? Because they, they pull too many teeth. And um, my health was run by my birth mother, who did not have good discernment. It could be easily talked into anything. And I'm so glad that during the uh, gender identification crises that we've had in these 2020s, uh, that she was not then um, able to decide whether or not I should be a B-O-Y because she always told me she wanted me to be one. She had one boy and two girls and it would have been perfect if I had been a boy. I heard that my entire life. Oh, but you have blue eyes. That makes up for it. And then my two sisters hated me. I always felt like Cinderella with the stepsisters and the evil stepmother in my house. Always. It was wild. Yeah. Because I feel like print, my, the, my sister, middle one, princess, she felt like she was the princess, the older one. Always suffering the torment of two younger sisters. And I adored her. But I, uh, you know, once you stop taking abuse from anybody, you stop taking abuse from everybody. And that's something that I want to convey to you. It's very important. And I'll repeat that. Once you stop taking abuse from the people who love you and you remove them from your life or create distance, once you stop taking abuse from people, you never allow it from anybody. You stop it from the get-go and you recognize it from the, the get-go kind of a cool thing yeah so stick with me we'll go places when we're, we're in narcissistic abuse recovery or toxic uh, relationship recovery or maybe you're young and maybe you're um, a young man or a woman who's had really toxic parents and you're like WTF man what am I well, who am I really and you've had all this bad messaging we'll get there you're going to learn how to reparent yourself again so that you can rise to the occasion to be what it is that your God self intended along with your creator. And we'll talk about, I, I have an understanding of, of our particular solar system and our star, which is our sun and our planet. And I see it and we are in dark times, but they're not the end times they're the end of the dark times and they are trying to ruin the party as they exit so just keep having a party within yourself or later loves <laughs>